Yo guys, Delay here, and I am watching a replay of my Master Yi S Plus gameplay because I did not record it. I feel the need to show it on my channel, and lots of you have been tweeting to watch the gameplay because I've been, you know, spamming it on Twitter and on Instagram. So let's check it out. First thing I bought was, I'm pretty sure, was the Hunter's Machete, as you can see at the bottom there, on the right side, number three. So I start off with the Hunter's Machete. Some people buy an HP pot, but I personally don't need it whenever you use the sm uh, yeah the smite. So obviously, waiting for that minute 40 for the big fucker to come out. So let's fast forward. Three, two, one, attack! So watch here as I'm pretty sure I don't use my smite because smite is something that, you know, is not hard to get because obviously it's just time based. But it's something that you like to use that, like, see, right now I have to be leashed to guarantee the kill, right? Boom, leashed. Now I'm going to respawn, head back to uh, base. And what I'm going to go do now is attack the bottom boss you know creature and use my smite to take out most of its health so I don't need to rely on a leash anymore right so it, it works very well uh, people a lot of people told me that my build was gross and stupid and useless and it was overkill and I should have done it a different way but guess what buck off okay I went like 38 and 4 like, I hate people that try to tell you what to do even though you did really good. So see how you use your smite and now he's already past half and you barely even crossed a f uh, like a fourth of your health. So having that smite ready and handy is always good. Try not to use both your smites right away at the start. Try and save them for each monster so it like, you know, makes it a tad easier for it to go through. Uh, later on, it's like, who cares, right? I usually just waste my smite on any creature I see, because eventually I can one-hit monsters. I'm pretty sure I end up one-hitting monsters at the end. Um, so, things I might do, I might mute myself for a bit and turn off my camera. <sighs> and let you guys watch. But I'm pretty sure, okay, so if I lock on Yi here, and then go on a little fast-forward here. So as you can see here, what I did was Annie, which is my girlfriend by the way, Delaire, uh, she takes them down to a low, 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 low health and accepts an assist. They don't have a choice. Junglers get first dibs on kills. I don't care who the fuck you are, what you say, a jungler gets the right of the kill. I'm going to kill them. That's it. Know why? Jungler needs money to become OP as fuck. To basically not guarantee a win, but it's for the win. So if I just run around not being able to kill shit, then what's literally the point of me playing? See right here, I'm pretty sure I take a no. Do I take a stupid death here? I'm pretty sure this is where I take my first dumb death. Yep. This is my first dumb death of the game. Um, let's fast forward once again. So I take four. Not all of them are dumb, but they're not the smartest. I, I could have been a lot smarter the way I handled it. I personally find that my Warwick game this time was phenomenal. Warwick never really had a chance against me. I'm Although I'm pretty sure he killed me once, but it was like 1v3. So yeah, let's keep on fast forwarding through here. I just want to show you guys the game and how... I feel like I did very well. This was only like my fourth game as Master Yi. And you guys may know I've never really played this game before. I don't know if I've talked about it, but I honestly have rarely played this game. See, yeah, see, I died from Warwick because I was being stupid rushing in, right? 
Um, but yeah, I've, I've only been playing this game for a total, I'd say, 12 hours. Okay. Why is it off? Alrighty then. So, as you can see, I got a kill, and now it's not wanting me to fucking, you know, it doesn't want me to look at fucking Master Yi. Which is trying to get annoying. Um, so, I'm not gonna lie, for the longest time, I did not know that holding down W let me meditate to gain health. Totally didn't know that. So, as you can see here, this is my third death. I get one more, I'm pretty sure, in the game. I don't know if I got four deaths or five. I, I don't remember what it was at. But yeah, it was it was unbelievable. So I first I clear I thought honestly we were gonna lose until I I'm like you know what fuck it I wanna win. It's not that I didn't wanna win. I was kind of like just killing everything just to get more IP, right? Like started fishing, I guess you can say. But yeah, I'm I just decided at the end I'm gonna go fucking batshit crazy, right? People thought I was gonna go take on the fucking Baron solo. I'm like, are you retarded? So. Usually, Garen's a really good opponent to kill me. See? I got a stupid death here, right? And I'm pretty sure dead. That's my last death. Sprint, 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 sprint. Okay. So, now I've got the uh, Phantom Dancers, and I got the Boots of Swiftness, because, you know, speed is key in this game. Especially as a jungler, you want to get to that fucker before he gets to safety. Uh, and, of course, I still have my Hunter's Machete. Um, I wasted my health quite a bit, because towards, the, like, this part of the game, I really just didn't give a fuck. I saw people were attacking my monsters, so I'm like, nah, -uh, and... I took his kill, and I went batshit crazy on the rat. As you can see, I went batshit crazy. Then I was deciding on where to go. So I'm like, okay, let's go up to kill Kogma, right? That's Kogma? No, that's that's my player. Fuck, I keep forgetting I'm red. <laughs> so I go and help him out, clear a bit of minions for extra points. Why not? And... I was kind of waiting for another top character to come up so I could just get an easy kill out of it. But then I saw that, you know, there was three bot, or mid, which was Warwick, and Garen, and F I think it's Raven, the fucking third guy. And clear they, they were very easy to kill. So, as you can see here, I struggled, because, you know, 3v1 is very hard, like... Honestly, one of the harder things to do. So I meditate to Warwick's not like bloodthirsty on me. And I start going back. I'm pretty sure I get him. Yeah. This guy was dumb though. Like he didn't understand that he should run away. Never understood that. I'm pretty sure here I spawn back. No, I meditate. Ooh. So I see Warwick, right? And he's really dumb. He doesn't like to respawn often. Now that there's this Twitch guy. So Twitch dies because I always try to take out the... I don't know. I try to kill the people that have low, lower health. Because then I could just focus solo on the guy that could kill me the fastest. So Garen was obviously my biggest threat in this game. There was no other way of me playing it other than playing. Not chicken shit. Because obviously I'm not going to go in there with, you know, less than half. I got to go in there with minimum half. So I kept on trying to like fish him towards the turret. And basically I was just, yeah. So I decided to recall. I thought I was going to do a meditate. I keep forgetting what I did just to, this game back. Sorry for the weird commentary. It's just, this was like a, a, a couple of days ago, like a day and a half ago. See, I saw Warwick going on all ham on trying to kill someone. It's like, he was so stupid. And I love how my alt right basically guarantees me getting all my abilities back super fast. I love the Meditate. So, Warwick and Zed are tied for my favorite characters. Honestly, Zed can be a lane and or a jungler. Personally, don't play him as a jungler. Don't. Uh, he's much better as a lane, especially mid. He's really good as a mid. He he can be really good as a, a jungler. If you, I can do good sometimes with him. I prefer my Master Yi. If you're going to go jungler, pick Master Yi or Warwick. They're very easy to play as. Uh, if you guys want any help with playing jungler or whatever position you want, I can help you a bit. 
Um, I enjoy helping. It makes, you know, kind of makes the game, right? Uh, that's one thing I haven't gotten in this game was the, uh, you know how, like, there's the honorable one and then the friendly and then the exemplary? Well, I want, I have yet to get the helper one because I haven't helped anyone learn the game. See what I mean? Like, I got so close to dying so many times and Garen even wanted to get me. And it's like, bye-bye. He'd even wait for me, and I'm like, no, I'll just go back, right? There's no point of taking the chance, especially with Warwick wanting me. So I'm pretty sure here, yeah, so now I have two Dancers Phantom by Phantom by accident. I accidentally started doing the two of them, and I'm, I was wondering why I was attacking so fucking fast. But I wasn't against it at first, because it was kind of useful, especially against Garen. I could take down almost a lot, like, not almost all of his health, but quite a bit of it. But... It was still kind of hard to play against the Garen, right? Because Garen usually plays a tank build, and... Yeah, I could take down a shit ton of health, but whenever there's a second character involved, I can't do it. If it's Garen alone, I could fuck him up any day of the week, and tw like, and twice on Sunday. Sorry, that took a bit for me to say, but this was weird. This guy was annoying. I hate how he has, like, no health, but his animal had more. It was just dumb. Bye-bye. So... As you can see here, I'm going back. I'm pretty sure I respawn at this point. Or not respawn, but I go all the way back to go buy something. Because I'm pretty sure I have money. I'm pretty sure I sell one of my, my uh, dancer things there. No, I just bought my machete again? No, I bought that little mallet down here. I don't know what the fuck it's called because I don't really care. I bought this little fucker. He had the pickaxe for more damage. Uh, as you can see here, 2v1 is kind of hard. So I, I even let this guy basically leash me because I thought he'd follow me more, but clearly didn't work. So I decided to just go, um, I thought I was going to go head on, but then I decided to, I guess, run away. Fuck, man, I gotta, I gotta, I'm, I'm fucking half asleep here, as you can see, I'm pretty tired. It is, uh, only 12.11, but I work today. So as you can see here, I saved my girlfriend from almost dying, but then gets, no, she didn't, oh, Okay, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, she did get picked off. But Garen dies. I'm pretty sure that was Garen's first death. Uh, not not too sure about that. No, fifth death. So I don't get how... He, no, fourth. So I don't get how he dies so much from everyone else. I'm assuming he was just going solo against multiple people. Which, you know, it's kind of ridiculous. Why would you do that? You know you're going to lose. This guy was really dumb. Every time I attacked him, he just kind of let me kill him. He would never really try to fight or try to run away. Uh, we can speed this up a bit, since this is just basically me running away, me running away. Oh, then I start taking on Garen. Oh, I kill Garen. Blah, 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 blah. Meditate. I start running, 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 running. Oh, kill the dragon. Get full health again. I fuck him up pretty quick, honestly. Um. See, honestly, this is where it starts getting more interesting, I find. Not now, but, like, a little later on. Because... I'm basically the only one doing DP, uh, damage on this shit, and then I go straight for, you know. But he always cowered away towards this turret. So I ran away. And I kill Warwick. I'm pretty sure I killed Rat Dude. Twitch, right? His name's Twitch. Yeah. See, I was going to attack them until I saw Garen in the way. See, I hated that because using that ability right there sucks Donkey Cock because fucking hits everything around you and then those little fuckers hit you at the same time see basically I was fishing him out so I wanted him near my turret but then I realized that there was no turret up there so I'm like fuck I just basically got a Booker T back to base cause you can't just pull over and be like I'm going to respawn in this bush cause he's just gonna fucking slam and hit you so at this point I'm like yeah there we go so I guess we can fast forward here this is not really interesting part uh then I went and killed fucking the fucking douchebag right Clyde. Oh my god, did I die again? So I died five times. Yeah, there we go. So I died five times, which isn't that bad. See, yeah, Garen became really easy to kill since I had... I switched my build a bit. Not switched my build, but I got the uh, Infinity Edge to uh, whatever dancer things. I started building on... I'm pretty sure is my mallet. 
my frozen mallet for 700 health plus. So, these guys were quite easy to kill. His health really didn't matter to me. His like little regen it was kind of a, like it's kind of cute how much health he got. Um, so I remember killing him pretty quick as well. My teammate, my teammates were kind of crappy. Even like my girlfriend was like the better one of the teammates, but even then it was, as you can see here, everyone was negative except for me. Like that's, it's pretty bad when that happens. Oh, sorry. Kog'Maw was four and three, but you know, that's not necessarily that helpful. So I'm pretty sure this is when I go back and I start to sell shit. Yeah, see, I got my frozen mallet, and then uh, I sold one of those, and then I'm pretty sure I start building towards the, uh, fuck, I can't think of it. It's it's a sword that gives you 70, uh, 80 attack plus 10% lifesteal, and that shit started fucking people up, like, hard. Oops, sorry about that. So basically, now I start going ham again. Garen had no chance, even though he had more health than me. And, see, that guy could have finished me off, but instead he was afraid that I had my ability once again to just go invisible, and then I could have beaten him there, but I didn't have it yet. So I book a T back. So, if I'm correct, this is when I start to build the... Mm -hmm. Oh, I got another frozen mallet. Sorry, I, I totally forgot which one I was building here. I'm pretty sure I do get the, whatchamacallit, that, that red sword I was talking about. I gotta learn the names better because talking, because I'm actually doing really good right this game. And it's like, I'm talking and it's like, man, you sound like you're retarded. It sounds like you've never played this game before. You're just reading shit off of paper or something. Or not even off of paper because then I would know the fucking name of it. But anywho, um, honestly, I don't remember too much of this game. I just remember going ham and batshit crazy and people were like loving it. This game, everyone on both teams added me. I, I kind of recruited quite a few people on my my group, my, my club, sorry. Yeah, see, this Warwick didn't know how to play like that well. I found he played more of a, a lane when he should have been playing more of a jungler. I find fucking more was really hard to beat, but yeah, this guy was just being stupid. Okay, so I go back here. See, I sold something, and yeah, this is where I started working on that red dagger. Or a sword, whatever you want to fucking call it. Uh, this guy was pretty easy to kill once again. Just basically walk in, smack a -roo. la di da di da 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 um, so I'm pretty sure I lure Garen out and I kill him. But I could be wrong. No, because I'm pretty sure I remember I, I saw his guy leave and I follow him because his buddy went upwards more, right? What? I went after Warwick? Why would I do that? But anywho, so sorry for this crappy commentary because obviously I should have watched this beforehand to get to know what the fuck I was doing. Because, you know, when you play the game, not that you forget everything that happens, but you only remember, like, the big key parts of, like, just being kick-ass and going 38 and 5. Uh, watch how fast I kill this fucking dragon. Obviously, smite helps, like, a fuck ton. See, I was worried that Garen was going to just hop around and, you know, try and take the final kill on it, but... Nope. He didn't do it. But I did go chase Garen, I'm pretty sure, after I took some health. Which I didn't necessarily need. See, like, I, I kind of just gave up on him. Like, this is stupid. And I'm pretty sure I get another kill here and save that Xenomorph. Oh, in this game, people got so much in my way where it's like, I could have killed them faster, but I didn't. Just because they're in my fucking way. Uh, so I'm pretty sure I got Warwick here because I had more speed than everyone. Yeah. Like, look at my damage, eh? Oh, I got an assist there. <laughs> um, so let's fast forward to the end, kind of. Because, uh, see, this is where it starts getting interesting. I'm basically just taking out the inhibitor alone, but I had to back off because Garen. But I didn't know if Garen was solo or not. He was about to fuck me up with his dumb spin attack, so I Booker T'd away. 
Because as you can see, my character's like a lot faster than Garen. Like, when I mean a lot faster, I mean like a fuck ton faster. So, Parker Teed back down. Da 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 da. Killed Garen. Laughed my ass off. Like, literally, uh, I, I was laughing on my computer. Just like, what the fuck? How easy was that? So, I'm pretty sure I killed this beast to gain a bit more health. So, look at that. Two fucking hits. Oh, yeah. This is where shit got really, uh, not interesting, but I got bored of doing the killing. You know what I mean? See, I get one more kill, which is this guy. I'm pretty sure. No. I don't remember who I killed, but I just remember taking the inhibitor. And then fucking shit up. And then taking out both turrets practically solo. Like Annie is helping a bit, but my hits clearly do significantly more damage. Yeah, see, I appreciate sure Garen is my. No, Garen gets away. She spawns Tibber so he can start taking damage so I can take out this turret. Clearly remember that one. And then I'm like, ah, da 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 da. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure Garen, it must be my last kill. I don't, okay, so I don't remember when I got my 38th kill. I don't, clear, I clearly didn't see it. Or pay attention to it. But anyways, so that's basically how I built. My final build was finally the that red dagger here, which is the... Why is it not showing that one? But showing. So I had two frozen mallets, the phantom dancer, the uh, boots of swiftness, and the red one here. Why can't I... Clearly can't see it, but whatever. So that's basically what I had. Good build. Try it out if you like it. Uh, so we can see, but yeah, it's been the lair, guys. Later.